Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another Lupin movie and today I'm going to react to the Fuma Conspiracy or Fuma Ichizoku no Imbo. So now from this title, uh, I kind of wondered it in the previous week only when I saw the title of this movie. Um, uh, Fuma, I I'm, I think I'm, I'm quite from not quite, but I know about it. I think uh, the Fuma clan is probably, I think the ninja clan of Japan, uh, one of the ninja clans like there's like the whole um a lot of other clans as well as far as i know like the iga clan and there was another clan and there was also the onya banshu i think which was like the shogun's uh i'm i think the the shogun's uh ninja uh what do you call it like bodyguards or something like that like you know like I kind of know about them bits and pieces from a lot of obviously from different animes like well, i knew like i got to know about the onya banshu from gintama and I, th I can i think i've heard about the iga clan and Puma. obviously i'm familiar it with it because of fate grand order because there's a servant there who is called fuma kotaro and um i don't know if this is somehow related to that that the same fuma clan or not but it's called the name of the movie is called the fuma conspiracy so i'm guessing it, it will be something like that so let's check it out what this is about so yeah let's get started and uh, i'm loving the movies you know like i have reacted to three movies and there's a fourth movie i'm reacting to each and every one were great uh, the top one being obviously castle of caliostro then mamo and then babylon and now let's see how this movie is so yeah without further ado let's get started and um yeah so uh, i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started with this movie and this, this is quite a short movie i think it's like one hour, hour 10 minutes shorter than the others so yeah so okay so let's start the countdown three two one go hmm. All right. Wow, like huge. Huge house. Damn, look at the staircase. Obviously this is Japan, it's like a sh shrine on top of the, oh, someone's getting married? Who's? Wait, is that? Is that Goemon? Oh my god! It is Goemon! <laughs> wow! Damn, Lupin looks good with glasses! Um Okay. Wait, so Goemon's getting married? Who's who's the girl? Okay. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god. What the? It's a ninja. Oh, nice. Whoa. What the? Oh God! Oh no! Oh, flick! Wow! Ew! Oh my God! It's quite loud. Ha! 
trap oh my god god what the <laughs> wait what <clears throat> oh okay oh wow oh nice <laughs> wow she really predicted that <laughs> okay don't crush it like yours <laughs> oh oh wow wait what oh my god great they're taking a hostage that means damn they're whoa they have jetpacks or whatever that was mm. damn he caught it d51 tomorrow night coordinates wait their goal was a vast so wait so they because they didn't I was unable to get it did they like take the girl just so that they can take her as a hostage i think so damn the wow the the music is really uh what can i say catchy in a way like all the movie songs wow this is another great song <laughs> wet <laughs> again get whacked <laughs> Oh boy, it's a great song. Oh. <laughs> okay. What? Here lies Rupan. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that Zenigata? Wait, did this like happen in the anime or something? Like this thing that they're showing? Most probably. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it became a monk. <laughs> because Zupan is no more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy knows that there you go. <laughs> Who took the photo? <laughs> Maybe his twin brother, you know? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, her name is Murasaki. Okay. 
Okay. What? Isn't he the dad or I'm not sure, but maker of gadgets. Huh. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm guessing that the Fuma clan uh, as the name of the Yeah. I think Fu means wind and Ma means I think something bad like the I don't know. Damn. Damn struck. Four hundred years. Damn, that's uh But the late the girl. <laughs> Treasure. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Oh, the Grand Rotter. But what? Yeah. Oh my god, the subs are kind of uh, a little weird, but yeah, it's understandable. <laughs> okay. What is that? <laughs> is that a stag beetle? Stag beetle robot or toy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a stag beetle or some other beetle, but... Ooh. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. All right, here we are. <laughs> Ah, oh, nice. How will they carry it? Like, is the stag beetle so strong? Ooh, yeah, it is. Quite strong. Ooh, don't break it. There you go. <laughs> wow. Such technique. All right, okay. <laughs> Some kind of hint? Oh, wait, the smoke is kind of. I love the music in this movie. This movie in particular. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's go. Where's Fujiko? She she was there and then suddenly she's 
disappeared. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, is this Murasaki? I think so. Oh. Okay, so this is like how they are like interacted and everything. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like oh boy is this oh my god it's <laughs> I just, act, yeah act like yeah Oh wow, great. That's not what he wants. He wants to capture Lupin. That's just it. He doesn't want the, you know, rewards and stuff. He just wants to catch him. <laughs> like, face all. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Looking at the. <laughs> no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> His senses. Oh, oh. It's <laughs> 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 so happy. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, his hat! Oh, it's like submarine? Yeah. <laughs> No, cars don't go in the river. Um, yeah. <laughs> nah. What a tragic loss. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe, or maybe it's just willpower, you know? <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 damn, the guy is driving the car. He has skills. <laughs> I'm talking about the police. <laughs> All right. Hmm. 
<laughs> no, he he was driving really well. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh no, hope he doesn't okay. I think he, he I think he might get a heart attack or something. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> I think the important thing was that thing in the back, like that clue or whatever. Like they know that now, so I'm guessing the face doesn't have much value. I don't know. Boy, it's like. Oh, are uh, the number. <clears throat> Damn, there's guns. Yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah, calm down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you, you return uh, Murasaki to us, otherwise we'll keep doing this. Come on. No, that would have worked. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank God. Oh! Oh! Ah. They did not still check if it was fake or not. Oh, nice. All right. Damn. God. But it's good that the police are here, you know? Like, in a way. Yeah, look, they're going to run away now. Whoa! What? Wait, wait, wait. They're also the police? <laughs> okay. Okay, oh, so he's like playing both sides in a way and the, the police officer hmm. Who's this? 
Kuminawa. Oh, this guy. <clears throat> what? Um, that's not how you use a. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, and that must be Fujiko. I don't know. I might be wrong. <laughs> anyway. Like, I can only imagine Fujiko wearing that type of a red dress in a motorbike. Red motorbike. You know? <laughs> Kazama group. Oh, okay. Kazama Group Limited. What the? I thought they were ninjas. Like, they're like... Oh, they're, they're more like Yakuza, I think. Or... Hmm. Wait, she's she'll be here alone? Oh okay, the huh. Well <laughs> Yeah What Ah uh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god. What what the Uh <laughs> What? Oh! <laughs> yeah! Yeah. <laughs> okay. And Okay. The checking if it's authentic or not. There you go. That's the main thing that means. The Okay, she got the information. And okay, yeah, the ninjas are here. And <laughs> she gets captured again. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They don't know that she knows the actual secret. So. Oh, this is that guy. I didn't recognize him for a second there. Oh, what the? Oh, wow. Real mature. Okay.
Beware of the sweet world on demolition. Ah, <laughs> oh. yeah, this guy's playing both sides. And it's in a trash can or something. Or maybe it's like a trap. They, they, yeah, they must have set a trap. Ah. Uh. Oh, wow, they brought him in the police station. <laughs> God. <laughs> I have to say, that's kind of clever of him, you know? That's kind of clever of him. Like, <laughs> like putting the transmitter here and telling Zengata, oh, Rupan is here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, 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 come on. <laughs> yes! Yes! Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ninja police officer. <laughs> Boy. Oh, I thought he brought it for Fujiko. He's eating it himself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and... This is where you make a mistake. Yeah, this is where you make a mistake. Ha! There you go. Okay. There you go. Run away. Or maybe not. What? Is it like a key or something? Yeah, it is a key. Oh wow, so they didn't, they'll go to the treasure and they'll see that it's like locked. And they don't have the key. Oh! My god! <laughs> wow! Oh my god! Yeah, don't drive cars like this. Even if you're trying to catch a, you know, criminal. Oh my. <laughs> oh no. Oh! <laughs> this car needs like a flying, you know, contraption or something. Like you can click on it and start flying or something. Like the way they're always staged, you really need that. Okay. <laughs> He's like, don't, don't look at that. Don't look at that. Ignore it. Ignore it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 
<laughs> oh! Oh my god! Oh! Wow! <laughs> okay! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. They need a flying function, you know? Their car needs a flying function. Or a gliding function, whatever. <laughs> the drivers are like skilled. Like I can get that Zin, uh, Jigen is a good driver, but all the police officers. Oh boy. <laughs> Kick the car. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. This is great. <laughs> One of the best scenes. <laughs> oh, oh my god, what is this? <coughs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> a... <laughs> what? Oh, the evidence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. God. Okay. Oh. He's still not pressing the brake. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Go back. The train is coming. Yeah. Or go. F okay. Is this is this Goemon's train? Was that Goemon's train? I think so. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Wow, that was a wild section. <laughs> wow, definitely one of the best scenes. Uh, like you know, in, in, out of all the movies. Damn, that was something. Oof. Hmm? All right. <coughs> and they'll be like, oh, here's the treasure. Oh, we need a key. What? We didn't know that. Like they'll be solving all the clues and everything, all the secrets. And when it's time to get the treasure, they don't have the key and Lupin will come in and <laughs> snatch the treasure away or something. <clears throat> ah, great. <laughs> yes. 
he knew where the treasure was so oh he knows him oh great he has a gun yeah. oh, no whoa damn Oh, wait, what? What the hell? Oh my god, they like threw him. Hmm. <coughs> okay, don't fall. Yeah. Um. Um. What? What the? Damn! Notice that from this. Oh! My god! Oh! Trap! Wait, he also went over that and... <laughs> oh. And don't pull strange levers, please. Don't... Okay. Oh, thank God. That worked well. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh! <laughs> Light. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow! They were just waiting for them to <clears throat> lead the way. Great. Okay. <clears throat> what happened to the old man? Damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. So excited. Like, no one's able to keep up with him. Like, he's so accustomed to chasing Rupan that he's like the best. Do a stat. <laughs> oh. Oh no, it's uh, the old man, yeah. Hmm. Damn, he fell from a huge uh, height. Like, he's injured, obviously, but. Oh my god. 
Um, okay. Mm. All right, <clears throat> and the, the those people are following them. Okay, with channels of Yakshinorai. I don't think so. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> what? Damn, it was like looking at them. Whoa! <clears throat> okay, this is freaky. Yeah, it was... Uh oh, all right. Hey. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they're behind you, actually. Wow. Damn, they were like all hidden. Okay, don't trigger any traps or. But they came through this way, so. That must be Rupan. That must be either Rupan or Zenigata. Must be. It's Rupan, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, broke it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's right. And Fujiko has the key with her. All right. <laughs> I wonder if Fujiko actually, actually told that to Rupan. I don't think she told that to Rupan as well. Like, there's like a key. There you go. <clears throat> oh. Wow, so... Well, oh no, they, they know, okay. Or maybe not. Oh, oh, so that's what he did, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, all right. So he never expected Murasaki to come here. Hmm. Oh boy, it's starting to collapse. Oh.
Mm. Oh, God. What? Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Nightingale. Sound. Oh, nice. He'll be foo look at that. Oh <clears throat> All right. The door closed. Oh, yeah, it's trapped. Hmm. Maybe that's also trapped. Who knows? <laughs> Wait, so there's like two ways to get in? Like, Rupan is actually going through a different direction. Hey. Ah, again, a fork in the road. Oh no. Oh no, what happened? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he the his granddaughter is also there. Oh my god, and he's almost like... Hmm. <laughs> wow. Oh! Oh, never mind. Hmm. Ooh, what is this? Okay. Oh, this is that place. Okay, so they took like a longer, um, all right, longer path. That was like a shortcut, okay. <clears throat> this, is a, this is a trapped door, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my God, it's trapped. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Seems as if there's all come to life or something. Oh. Oh. 
Wah. Oh no. Okay. Oh, so are this like some kind of like the the fumes, like some kind of hallucinating stuff or something like like the the people who come here came here before they were screaming and everything so <clears throat> oh my god yeah i think it is like a hallucinating thing or something like and they kind of kill themselves or something Yeah, it, it, it is like a hallucinogen. They freaked out looking at the, like, you know, samurai uh, armors and thought that they are alive and they probably killed themselves. That's what's probably happened. Okay. Yeah, this is what happened, you know? Like, the best way to get through this place is if you go in alone. Nothing will happen. Okay, slap yourself or kind of Oh my god Oh No, you won't be able to do it Ah, this is a master swordsman Okay Yeah, they're also getting affected Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh. My. Oh my god, who got hurt? Ah! Oh, the... Okay. Hmm. Oh my god. Yo, the traps. <laughs> god. She's like, her life depends on it. The treasure will go away. They'll take the treasure. <laughs> wow. Look at that. The golden. <laughs> yeah. You can't carry this treasure back. What are you going to do with this? Oh no. Is it like some kind of a hallucination? Yeah. Or maybe not. Maybe it really is gold. Ha! <laughs> Damn, it's like guns. Yeah, I don't think this is the actual treasure, like, there might be something else.
Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They can't take the risk. Yeah, and they, oh my god. That's a lighter. Works every time, but sometimes it kind of backfires. Oh. Oh, nice. Nice! Oh, not. Oh, this <laughs> is using like <laughs> good, nice. <laughs> oh, smack it away, smack it away. Oh, it's a smoke bomb. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Hmm, okay. Woo! Wow, these are some clean animation. Okay. Okay, don't try anything. Oh boy. Okay. The coin master versus the samurai. Oh, or maybe not. Oh. Oh, this nunchuck, isn't it? Or may no, that's not a nunchuck. Is that a nunchuck? No, no. Okay. Hmm. And it's gauging in. Oh, oh, is that the hallucinogen? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh my God, this girl. Oh yeah, this is a problem. Nah, that's not the intended purpose. <laughs> oh, 
Wow. Okay, come on, get it. Yeah, get. Hopefully. What? <laughs> <laughs> My God. Okay. Ah. Uh. Wow. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> this guy. Wasn't he this wasn't this guy jumping like a ninja? Like he can But I'm guessing it, 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 it like the mountain is very difficult to actually Oh! Oh! Oh, there's a ladder. Oh, wow! Where did he come from? Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Oh! Okay, thank God. Okay. Oh! And that's over. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, the whole place is going down. Zeni got us here. Yeah. Oh my God, Fujiko. Okay. Boy.
Hmm. Okay, so all right. God, I thought there was like a different treasure, you know, a, short, a smaller treasure which is like very valuable or something. Even when we get like, I thought like this big, like, you know, castle is probably like uh, well, what do you call it? Uh, a bait or something, and within the Castle is some kind of like very valuable treasure. Okay, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Nice. My God. Oh, oh no. Oh, the, the other officers. There you go. Oh, <laughs> run. God. My God. Ah, uh, they're they're okay. They must have run away. Nah, nah, they they they're out of here. <laughs> okay, they're there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay okay drop him and then go oh my god he's like carrying him and going <laughs> wait what oh Fifty <laughs> fifty. <laughs> <laughs> he still has a helmet. Uh. Mm. Oh boy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Just carrying him. Okay, drop the grandpa over here and then yeah. There you go. Wait. <laughs> wow. Hmm. All right. Oh, that's Goemon. I was thinking who is walking, and then I realized that's Goemon. Nice. Wow, that was a great. That's the end. That was. Yeah, that was really good. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay, so. So, one thing. Is this canon? Like, I'm talking about uh, the anime. Like, is this like a part of. Uh, like. 
Like, do does this girl like come back later in the anime or something? Because most usually uh, anime movies are not canon, not considered canon. But I don't know. Anyways, okay. So all right. So this uh, movie, this is definitely this is a great, uh, great movie, and I can kind of see why this is rated so highly. And it's uh, it's probably the second best movie in the Rupan series. First one, obviously, Castle of Cagliostro. Second one is this one. Then Mamo, then Babylon. So yeah, that was uh, that was good. I have to say, like I like the best part. Of the, the, like the best part of this movie is probably the, for me at least, is the the chase scene, where they <laughs> like where they get into the like you know when Zenigata is chasing them, and they get into the like you know the the houses and the like you know the different places like wrecking the whole place and wow that was like, <laughs> i've never seen a chase scene like that before in my life <laughs> like obviously those are over exaggerated but like you know it, it was it was really funny and <laughs> entertaining okay so one thing here um i kind of noticed in the beginning when Zenigata is like a monk uh there's like a little flashback where they they're showing that the the boat or whatever like in the ship whatever like uh lupan was in like like it blasted or something and it's like he he died and like it seemed as if he died so was that something that happened in the anime it must be otherwise it doesn't make like, you know uh like like any sense so it must be in the anime like and like you know this like this movie like shows what happened after that or something like that most probably and uh all right so okay so here uh like there's nothing much about the fuma like i thought this was going to be like you know something about the fuma clan you know the ninjas and everything that's basically these people who were the like the fuma clan in a way and they just wanted a treasure but like that was just it like i thought it was going to like you know give us some kind of history lesson or something like you know like some, something regarding the fuma clan and we can, we're going to get to know a lot of something like you know some historical facts and stuff but it was basically these people they were just like wanting a treasure and yeah and it was a struggle to get that treasure so okay uh, all right so again the, the whole scene of the little backstory thing that we saw of uh, goemon and murasaki i i i don't know i wonder if that is something that happens in the anime maybe not you know because if it really did happen in the anime they wouldn't show us like a little uh, backstory section like that like a little summary they won't probably show us that so it's probably something I'm guessing this is like a anime movie only thing this girl Murasaki because like usually like movies in bigger franchises are standalone you know it's just like like whatever happens in the movie or something that never happened in the original series so is it, like that's how it usually goes they're not canon so i'm guessing this movie is also something like that like usually what they do i think like you know like uh the, the original series is something that goes on like according to the source material be it manga be it light novel it kind of goes along with that and then they make movies you know which has small little bits which kind of are like you know something from the anime for example i'm guessing the scene where as i said like you know the scene where we see like uh, zengata became a monk and he's like oh like lupan is dead so i can't like you know i i have nothing else to do you know and like that scene i'm guessing that scene was something that really did happen in the anime they kind of brought that a little bit and like you know kind of uh, gave us that section a little bit and then they again went on with the i'm guessing the movie original script and yeah probably something like that that's what usually they do like you know they kind of introduce little sections of something that really actually happened in the source material and then the movie or the rest of the movie is all like you know not canon so yeah i don't know <clears throat> okay so This this really shows that Zenigata's um, uh, 
like <laughs> it's like his his whole life's motto is catching Rupan. I'm wondering what he's going to do if he ever catches Rupan. You know, like if 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 someday he actually catches Rupan, like what will he do? Like will he like just be like just like what happened in this uh, movie? The, he'll be like, okay, like my job is done. I'll become a monk. <laughs> I don't have anything else to do. It's like the, yeah, the whole thing, like you know, everything is like uh, revolving around Rupan and. Like, he'll go to so much lengths that he doesn't want anyone to kill him because he wants to catch him. You know, like, I kind of noticed this in this um, um, uh, movie where, like, you know, there were multiple times when they were actually trying to kill Lupin and Zenigata's like, no, don't you dare. <laughs> like, you know, like, lower that gun. And, uh, and then again, obviously, we get into the, like, you know, the cave where obviously Lupin was in danger. He goes to warn them. Like that really like it's like yeah he doesn't even want him to die because he wants to catch him <laughs> so like it's interesting in a way because this is usually what happens in animes where there's like a revenge theme you know like there's this one person who wants a revenge on something his whole life is like focused around the revenge and then suddenly he gets his revenge and then he's like what the hell am i supposed to do because everything that i wanted was that revenge like revenge is something that took up all, all all his life now that he has got it he doesn't know what to do you're probably guessing what i'm trying to like you know like it's like a, a common theme in anime and one of the biggest example of that is naruto so like it's kind of like that in a way but this is more <laughs> what can i say this is more um uh what more wholesome <laughs> you know like yeah he just wants to catch Lupin that's just it he doesn't want to kill him he just wants to catch him and uh, yeah like it's more wholesome in a way but it's kind of like that you know like everything is like focused around uh, catching Lupin like his whole life kind of is like <laughs> in that so like, uh, like as, as long as Lupin keeps running away he'll be happy you know, like it's kind of bring, like brings a paradox in the whole situation where like, you know, like he wants to catch Rupan. So if he just catches him, that's all well, like it's all over. So like, like I'm sure he also <laughs> like there's, there's also this thing going on where like, you know, like where he also doesn't want Rupan to get caught so easily because then he, he won't be able to catch him. Like, you know, like, this is a paradox I'm talking about. Like, he wants to catch him, but if he gets caught, then that's that. So, it's a weird, weird situation. <laughs> but, yeah, like, that was good. Anyways, okay, so... <clears throat> okay, so this, this movie, obviously, like, we're, uh, the first we're in the wedding. And, uh, the face, the, it gets... They try to snatch that uh that vase but uh instead they take um, murasaki as a hostage and uh, yeah and then they like you know kind of just a second i'm kind of trying to check something out all right they take the uh murasaki as the as a hostage uh zenigata gets to know that they are like Rupan is alive and again like that was another like <laughs> very funny chase scene like you know and uh, Zenigata chasing Rupan and all and them kind of what do you call it like, them being able to get out of that situation now okay so one thing I kind of was I don't know like it's like a weird way my like, you know brain goes in the middle of it, I did not kind of like express it, but in the middle of it, I was thinking like maybe this Murasaki, you know, maybe she is like a person who's working for the <laughs> the enemy. Like it kind of struck into my head. I, I was thinking like what, how would this like you know movie go if if like you know if there was like in, in the end it was like a big reveal that she was actually working with them. So that's why like you know she got kidnapped and she like you know she was like accompanying them. So that by the end, when they will be able to get everything, like, you know, get the location of the treasure, she'll suddenly be like, you know what, like, you know, I was actually working for them, like, you know, I was tricking you or something. 
like a <laughs> weird way my brain goes I, I was kind of thinking like if, maybe if something like this will happen like that would have been a big twist you know because it kind of like you know like the, all the puzzles would like fit in place if that happened in a way because uh, as i said like the first thing is that she gets kidnapped so maybe she, like you know like it would be something like she let herself getting get kidnapped you know so that like you know uh, <laughs> So that uh, Goemon would go for her and like, you know, like all that stuff will happen and th they'll get the va vase, you know, because uh, like as soon as she saw that they are unable to take the vase, uh, vase from uh, them, Fujiko got it. She, she, like, you know, she got herself get captured deliberately so that she herself can be like a hostage and Zenigata and them will bring the va vase to them. Like, you know, that kind of, like, you know, kind of played in my mind. And then there was this another scene where we see that she is actually going alongside them, you know, and like that also like would kind of like fit perfectly because she wanted to kind of keep an eye on them and like, you know, wanted them to, uh, <laughs> well, like, you know, uh, get to the treasure, like, no, like um, wanted to know the path because they'll like, you know, kind of uh, disarm all the traps and everything and it'll be all good. So. Another like scene kind of made me like you know think in that direction is where she suddenly tr tries to get up and get the crossbow. Like I thought like you know like, <laughs> she'll be like she gets the crossbow and actually attacks Zenigata with it. I know like you know I I'm, I'm kind of like you know <laughs> going in a completely weird direction, but obviously I was thinking like it will be really like you know one of the biggest twists if something like that actually happened. You know like by the end we're going to see that she's the actual mastermind or something. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyways, and obviously I knew that was not going to happen because like, you know, many things kind of showed that she really does care about Zenigata. So, yeah, but still, like, you know, human brain, it kind of goes in different tangents. <laughs> so, anyways. Okay, um... <clears throat> Alright, so now another thing is the... The, the actual treasure um you know the, the what the actual treasure constituted of it was like a huge castle full of lots of gold and stuff now at that moment i thought maybe this was not the treasure this was just like the outer thing you know and there was like like you know like there was like an actual some kind of very valuable thing maybe some kind of diamond or something within the castle like it was some other secret some other contraption so like you know like that that like people would actually go at that place and they would be like oh my god look at this huge like, you know castle of gold they'll be distracted with that and the like, golden guns and stuff and they'll like you know try to get that and by doing that it'll like throw them off of the actual treasure which is something even more valuable some kind of diamond or something which is actually hidden in the you know castle or something i kind of thought maybe it was something like that but I don't think that was that, like, you know, the treasure was actually the, the, like, you know, the castle in itself and the things inside it. So, like, it's a weird type of treasure, obviously, like, it's something that you obviously cannot take out, you know, like, like take it with you. So, it was, yeah, like, but still, it was very, like, you know, valuable and stuff. And I think, like... Uh, like breaking the tiles and taking stuff from that would probably diminish diminish the actual value of the whole like you know treasure uh, if they like you know like you know if they like kept it all intact if they kept it all intact it would be even more valuable but obviously they're like individual uh, like you know people they cannot like take the whole castle with them like if there was some kind of government, you know, like as Zenikata said, like this will probably be a lot more, uh, like, you know, like the, if, if the police were actually like, you know, the government actually came here, they would probably be able to make more use of this whole thing in a more effective manner. But since like, you know, they, they're like individual people who are trying to get the treasure, they just like grabbed whatever the hell they could, like, you know, they were able to, like uh, Fujiko started grabbing the tiles, <laughs> the gold slabs and all. And you know all the other people like they're they were trying to get some other stuff and uh, yeah okay now one thing i was kind of wondering and not wondering but i thought when as soon as fujiko got the key i thought that okay like they'll probably be like they'll go to the treasure and they'll be like oh my god this treasure is ours and then they would realize that it was actually locked or something 
but the key had a different purpose so in a way the key was kind of useless wasn't it like it was like she gets the key and then they like you know actually get to know that the key actually would have like you know come to use if the old man didn't like shoot the like the thing the shrine thing the you know so the key kind of become use became useless in a way like what was the purpose of the key even like you know like they just got the key and yeah that was that they couldn't even use it so like it was kind of something like that i was not expecting the key to become completely useless like that no i thought it would be something else but clearly it was not like it would have been like you know like maybe like you know it would have been something what can i say mm, interesting if the key had two purposes you know like one purpose was obviously like to uh stop the whole thing from collapsing that's one purpose and another purpose was as i said like you know there's like some other hidden treasure within that castle like which can only be opened with that key or something so like maybe some kind of diamond which was even more valuable than the whole castle like you know something like that so yeah but no, no, it was nothing like that and uh yeah okay the traps and everything were obviously you know here and i'm really impressed with <laughs> the reflexes of the people <laughs> not like i can understand this, uh, like you know goemon's reflex being so sharp but like fujiko was like <laughs> dodging the traps like a ninja like she was like you know like the like, traps were coming and she was like dodging and everything and <laughs> and uh, Jigen and Lupin were just following her but I'm guessing Fujiko is, is more accustomed to all of this because she's more like a uh, one man like well, not one man sorry one woman army you know like she's like the lone wolf or something like you know kind of goes always like goes do does stuff alone so that's why she is more accustomed to stuff like this because she always has to tackle these things alone so that's why she's able to so easily like you know dodge and like you know do stuff like that and even even uh, Jigen kind of like was was like almost like falling down, you know. And I think Rupan kind of helped him from the traps. So <laughs> yeah. And another thing I love about Rupan is he is so what can I say? Um, like, like well, in a way, desperate. Not desperate. That's that's the wrong word. Use it. Um, she is uh very. How can I, like, you know, okay, I'm going to, like, uh, try to tell what I'm actually trying to say. Um, the whole scene where he comes out and she sees that all of them are getting surrounded, he says that, you know what, I have a bomb planted. And he takes out a lighter, kind of, like, uh, you know, like, hides it with his hand and there's, like, only the upper portion of the lighter. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, he's so, like, what can I say, like, his mind works so quickly and he has no fear you know like at that moment like people who like oh yeah okay bluffing like his bluffing technique is very like what can i say like <laughs> impressive that's what i was trying to say i was not you know finding the word to actually express it bluffing so like you know like usually whenever people bluff they kind of like you know it takes a little time for them to kind of register like yeah i'm trying to do this so i should probably act like this and that's during that process they kind of hesitate and kind of give like you know give uh like you know <clears throat> the enemy hints that he's actually lying so rupan does it like it's like every day like not only in this uh movie i've seen this in, in the previous movies as well like it's, it's like second nature to him to bluff and try to get out of the way because most of the time he like you know he whatever he says he he doesn't have any kind of <laughs> like you know preparation for that for example here he says that i planted a bomb there and he like brings out a lighter and she's like he's like yeah this is the switch here and like he's so confident and so like you know like like used to like this type of bluffing that the enemy kind of hesitates at that moment and that's where it like you know like uh, it's all over but unfortunately here like his bluff didn't work because the guy here was like a master coin flipper or whatever <laughs> he just flipped the coin and like got the uh like you know uh, the lighter so but still it was working you know he was kind of hesitating at, at first he called at first he called out his bluff he was like 
like yeah you're, you're you're lying and lupin is like want to try me and he kind of hesitated at that moment but yeah like that that confidence is the thing that actually makes the enemy hesitate because the enemy has come this like, you know this far to get something so like even if like there's like a minuscule uh, chance of the whole place blowing up they're obviously going to hesitate because like you know this is like their ambition so he really like you know like kind of knows that well rupan and always like goes for that weak point and that's very impressive <clears throat> obviously that's what makes him so like you know intelligent and so well, like he kind of acts like a fool in front of everyone but he's very int intelligent like uh, like you know like like i think there's like a, there's a thing like uh, a saying where it, it's said that a uh, real like you know a clever person usually like you know acts like it doesn't let anyone realize that he's clever he acts like you know like he acts like a fool like that's the uh, indication of a clever man a, cle a clever woman so <laughs> that's basically rupan like you know he acts like a fool and people usually does not realize how much intelligent he is and that's the main source of his like you know uh, brilliancy that he doesn't make people realize his actual like you know his actual capability that's what makes him like so cunning and so quick-witted <clears throat> All right, and uh, there's something else. Let's see. And yeah, unfortunately, like, look, that was like the thing that happened by the end of it was very, like, you know, like obvious because I'm sh like I was sure that they were won't be able to get that treasure. <laughs> That's what happened, and I was sure that the the, the gold bars that Fujik was carrying would, f like, you know, kind of like, she'll lose it some way or the other. And she really did lose it, but kind of had a few others with her. So yeah, that works well for her, I'm guessing. Like one of those gold chunks are very costly. So yeah, she's she's probably good for like you know, like she'll be able to get a lot of money from that. And uh, yeah, and by the end of it, obviously, uh, Zenigata. <laughs> Like, you know he gets his like you know the biggest uh, like happy thing about him is that rupan is alive and he'll be able to keep you know <laughs> trying to capture him even after this and um goemon kind of said to murasaki that yeah i'm still not ready and i'll be like you know like i'll have to train and stuff and i'm not sure if like as i said like if this is like a movie only thing like not canon then this probably won't like you know like won't have any other like, you know like it won't advance from here like this is it you know that's over so but if this is also something that happens in the anime you know maybe someday he'll come back to her or something i don't know so yeah all right that was that and there's a lot of like funny potions in this movie you know as i said the whole like all the chase scenes were hilarious especially the second one where they kind of like go crazy completely like you know getting in the houses and stuff and breaking <laughs> you know that was one of the best chase scenes and uh, yeah the fighting scenes were also very good like you know like um when was this re released 1987 damn that's a long time ago and i was very what can i say like the, the animation fighting animations were very nice you know and like the way like you know especially with the way zenigata uh, not zenigata sorry goemon was like fighting and everything and uh yeah that was that was that was really impressive and I'm guessing, like, as we, like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, like, you know, kind of uh, watch all the movies, react to all the movies. And as, like, you know, like, I'm going to react to all the movies one by one, the animations are definitely going to become even better and, like, you know, better. As, you know, it's, like, the, the next one I'm going to react to is, obviously, uh, Farewell to Nostradamus. So, I can see that it, that is released in 1995, which is... A lot later than 1987 where uh fuma conspiracy was you know released so 
Nostradamus, Farewell to Nostradamus would even have better animation. So I'm really looking forward to what it's going to, you know, be like um, all the other movies as well. And uh, yeah, like this movie in itself was very like, you know, uh, what can I say? Visually pleasing. I really liked that. And uh, yeah. Okay, is there anything else? Um, no, I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. I think I covered most of the things. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention here is that guy. Um, I really love that scene. Uh, the guy, uh, the police officer, the the glasses wearing guy. You know, I really loved. Uh, like he's he's quite intelligent. I have to say, like the way he actually <laughs> played them is like he <laughs> he took the like the first thing was like he was able to recognize that it had a GPS tracking device in Fujiko's uh, you know necklace. And after that, like I like he could have just like you know taken it and like you know threw it away or like put it in some kind of moving vehicle or something then to throw them off but no what he did was he <laughs> brought it into the police station and <laughs> told Zenigata that the Rupan is outside like that was intelligent I have to say but he kind of made a miscalculation there is that Zenigata he like you know Zenigata usually listens to Rupan even even though he's a like you know he's always trying to catch him so that's something that I'm sure he never actually anticipated that Rupan would suddenly stop and say that you know what you should probably check that guy out like he, he's fishy and just goes away like <laughs> because then like and that's another thing i really like about zenigata he's kind of listens to rupan you know like if this was some other like you know uh, like show or something uh, zenigata would probably like uh, the, the police officer would probably like no you're like a criminal why should i listen to you something like this would have happened but zenigata actually listens to him he stops for a second and he actually looks at the guy and asks him that is what he's saying true <laughs> what's this about and this probably the, the reason behind this is probably because like zenigata and like you know rupan like zenigata is trying to catch rupan for so long that they have like a weird type of <laughs> relationship where they actually trust each other <laughs> even though they're always at each other's throats so <laughs> this trust alongside that as well so it's really interesting the, the whole like you know character dynamic the relationship between Zenigata and Rupan you know like like he's trying to catch him but at the same time he actually trusts him so <laughs> wow that was some another thing that I wanted to say so yeah that was it yeah nothing else so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to um uh, Rupan 3 uh the fuma conspiracy so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out and uh, yeah so and be sure to subscribe because next week i'm going to react to uh farewell to nostradamus or kutabare nostradamus so yeah that will be next week so yeah so thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with another episode uh with another movie reaction of rupan third so until then goodbye and have a nice day